everyone, welcome back to Art of La Carte. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking more about alcohol-based markers. So as many of you know, um, about two or three months ago, I switched over from my Spectrum Nora markers to Copic markers. And if you haven't heard that story, you can check out my, um, my Copic story video. And I've been slowly building my Copic collection, but other than Copics and Spectrum Nora, I have not really tried any other alcohol-based markers. So I was super duper excited when I got a message from Windsor Newton wanting to know if they could send me some markers to try out. Yes, this is when being an artist has its amazing perks. So they sent me a sample batch of markers um, for me to test out. So I'm super excited too. So as you can see, it came in this really nice packaging. I love the carrying case and it has all these awesome markers. And what's nice is it is a kind of a sampler pack because it gives you a little bit of everything. So it gives you some of their brush markers, some of their regular markers, and then two small sets of their metallic markers and their kind of like neon markers. So let's take a closer look at these markers. So the first ones here are the pro markers and these are, I think are more of their original set. And it comes with the chiseled nib on that side and then a bullet nib on this side. I like, I really enjoy the shape of this. They're nice, they're a good um, size for handling, not too big, but not super thin where they kind of fall off. I also like this little bump right here because it keeps my markers from rolling off my desk. I live in a very uneven place. <laughs> So all my markers tend to want to roll or pencils always rolling off my desk because it's not level. So I really appreciate this because they don't roll away. The next kind are the brush tip markers, which also come with a chiseled tip on the back and then a brush nib, very similar to the Copic on the front end. These are the neons, which come with a small bullet nib on one end and a large bullet nib on the other end. And the metallic, which are exactly the same, they have a small bullet nib on one end and a large bullet nib on this end. So I'm super excited to give these a test out. When getting any kind of markers, whether it's expensive markers or cheap markers, um, you always want to see what the colors are like. So I always do a test swatch. So this is my test swatch for my Pro Marker set. So it gives all the different colors that I received. So I know what I have to work with. Once you kind of understand what the colors you have to work with, then you can begin to create a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a picture. And while I'm doing the picture, I'm gonna be going over some of the things I like about these markers, some of the things that maybe I don't like about the markers so much, um, and then some other general information that you might find interesting. So the, the first thing you need to know is even though they gave me these markers, I told them right up front that, yes, I would love to do a review, I would love to try out the markers, but I will give an honest review. And I say that to a lot of people that want to send me stuff, and some people don't send me stuff. Um, because I will always, 100% of the time, give you guys an honest opinion of the product. So they did not pay me to say anything other than giving me markers, and again, I told them, I'm going to tell you that everybody the truth about them. I was contacted by Alice, who works for the Windsor Newton Pro Marker brand, and I asked her a few questions just to make sure that I got everything correct. I wanted to know exactly how many markers there are and in what sizes and sets and things like that. So she said that there are 48 colors in the Pro Markers, and the Brush Markers have 72 different colors. So one thing that a lot of people might have, like, um, a problem with the markers is that they are not refillable. That was That's one of the key factors with the Copic markers and even the Spectrum Noir markers is that they are refillable. So once you actually buy the marker, then you can go ahead and purchase refill ink and refill that up. Once you buy these and they dry out, then you have to just go and buy a brand new marker. But you're gonna find that the price um, even though the quality of the marker, I'm gonna say right up front, is just right on par with what Copic has, the, the price of the marker is a lot less expensive. So uh, you have you, you have that give and take there. So yeah, you don't get to refill it, but the initial cost for starting it up isn't as, as great. As a lot of you guys have said, you really wanna do Copics, but why do they have to be so expensive? So Pro Markers are a little bit more affordable for those of you who wanna take that step into getting some professional markers. I also asked her if they were available in all countries, because I know a lot of you guys don't live in America or Canada, um, and I wanted to know if, you know, if, if people from all over the world can get them. And her answer was that she was pretty sure that they could ship to just about any country except for those who have really strict custom laws. Uh, things that I love about these markers is, as you can see, the colors is amazing. These colors are bright, vibrant. Um, they just jump off the page. I especially love the red. I don't know how much red I'll use in this picture, but uh, it is just like 
the saturation levels on these colors are really, really great. And they, they lay really beautifully on the paper. There's not a lot of streaking going on. Um, it's very smooth. In fact, I did a couple pictures before this uh, video just to kind of really test them out because I didn't really want to do so much a first impression as a overall impression. So I actually use them in correlation with uh, my Copic markers. And you can see that in some of my videos that I just recently did, specifically my Tsum Tsum, how to draw Tsum Tsum video. You can check that out. And they work seamlessly with Copic markers. Um, when you finish, I can't tell really where they stop and where the pro markers begin. Um, so the, on quality level, um, they match. I, in my opinion, they match with Copics. The only other thing I have is, um, and I noticed that a couple other YouTubers have mentioned this in their reviews, is that there's a little bit of a smell, and I do notice that just a bit. If I'm coloring with my pro markers and I leave the room and come back in, it smells like markers in my room. So if you're sensitive to that, that might be something that you want to take into consideration. But, you know, if you have a little window, crack the window, um, and I don't think it'd be a problem. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I just noticed a, a little bit of a smell. But all in all, I really appreciate these markers. The only thing I wish is I wish I had more of them because um, I keep going, oh, I want, I, you know, trying to do just a pro marker uh, illustration <laughs> was challenging just because I don't have all the marker colors that I really want. I keep wanting to reach over and grab a Copic marker to fill in the gap of color that I'm missing. Um, but I think in time, if I continue building up my pro marker color, collection, I think it will, it'll be just, they'll be integrated in with my Copics. I don't even think I'll have them separated. I'll have them just right there with, you know, in the color schemes of, of where my Copics are. And I think they will just work hand in hand with that. So yeah. So yeah, let me know if you've tried Pro Markers and what you guys think about them, because some of you guys are way more knowledgeable in the alcohol-based markers than I am. But as a beginner alcohol-based marker artist, I would recommend these. So if you're just wanting to test out an alcohol-based marker, um, getting an expensive brand um, like Spectrum Noir is awesome. Um, but if you're really wanting to skip the, the middleman and kind of jump into a more professional brand, I would suggest getting some Winsor Newton Pro Markers. Um, whether you choose to get a brush tip or a you know bullet nib is totally on your own preference. I kind of prefer the brush nib just because I've really gotten used to it. There's not as many colors offered in the Pro Markers as are in Copics, but I think as, as the brand grows, I think they probably will be expanding their colors, or at least I hope they do. Hopefully this answered some of your guys' questions on what Pro Markers are like. Actually, I had a couple of you guys ask, because um, you noticed it in my How to Draw Sum Sum video that I was using Pro Markers and asked for a video on this. So hopefully that answered all of your questions there. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if I can't answer them, I'll ask Alice over at Windsor Newton and see if she gets me an answer and get back to you on that. So yay. Yay. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Pencil and some paper and the best 